Hi, it's Dr. C, and today we will be going over sampling distribution and how to calculate um, z-scores based off sampling distribution. So today we have a word problem where they give us a few elements, but before, um, based on what they're giving us, so we see that they're giving us mean, they're giving us population standard deviation, they're giving us a sample size, they're giving us a uh, sample mean, um, and we're trying to figure out a probability, right? So based on that, um, I always encourage you to write down the relevant formula so you just have it. So the relevant formula would be sample mean minus population mean divided by population standard deviation um, divided by the square root of the sample size, okay? So next we're going to go through this word problem because it's a little wordy and just pick out the important elements. So we have a mean of 40.5. We have um, a standard deviation of 17. We have a sample of 40. Um, and then it says the probability that will be 38.5 or less. That's also very important. So I always say state one, step one, state your givens. So you have the mean 40.5, um, population standard deviation of 17, Sample size is 40, X is 38.5, okay? The next step would be to draw it. So we kind of have a game plan of how this is going to go. So we have the probability of X being less than 38.5. So we can kind of draw it here. The mean is gonna be in the center, of course. And I want us to be very cognizant of, you know, when we look up the Z-score, it's always gonna give us the area to the left. So it's going to give us the area that is less than 38.5. So we're going to shade it in and put a G for given. And then we are then going to base it off of what we need. So it says we need the withdrawal to be 38.5 hours or less. So we also need the area to the left because that's the area that's less than 38.5. So we're going to put it in um, here for need, which means when we are given our answer, we can stop there. We don't have to do anything else. Okay. Last step is to actually calculate. So again, just a reminder of the formula. So we have everything in our given and we've already drawn it out. So now we just need to plug everything in. So when we plug it in, we essentially go from, um, we do 38.5 minus uh, 40.5 divided by 17 divided by the square root of 40. And when we get that, we get negative 0.7441. They did tell us to have our computations at four decimal places. So now we're going to go to Excel. And we're going to do norm S distribution. So D-I-S-T. And it asks for us to put our Z-score in there. So we already calculated it out, and we know that our Z-score is negative 0.7441. So when we put that in there, we just press Enter, and it, we set to, um, it says to give us our answers to three decimal places, right? So it says that, you know, our probability is 0 0.228, okay? So this means that the probability of X being uh, 38.5 or less is about 0 0.228. Okay, square your answer. And you are done. This is your answer. Um, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.